What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secrets and today's video is going in my wallet. Before I get started, if you can give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section. Also hit the subscribe button and all the links for everything will be down below. Other than that, let's get started with today's video. I get a lot of questions, you know, what are the cards that you use? What do you recommend? What do you not recommend? Um, I'm, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you what I actually carry in my wallet. And then if you want further videos about the credit cards that I like, that I don't like, credit cards that you should get, not get, then definitely let me know down below. I think this is going to be a new series on my channel where it's going to be called Financial Friday. And Friday, we just talk about like money, credit card, we just talk about stuff like that. Before I get started, let's just talk about only wallets that I really use nowadays is my Chanel wallet. So this is a Chanel um, full zipper wallet. And this one I tend to use when I carry a bigger bag like that one or this one right here. But even when I carry a big bag, I've been really into a small wallet. And this is my Chanel small lambskin wallet. And I, this can fit in every single thing. It can fit in my pocket. So this is really, really convenient. I do love this and I appreciate this a lot. But I don't really use it as much as my card. My card case right here. This is um, lambskin leather. So I'm just going to give you like an overview. And we're just going to pull out cards and we're just going to talk about them. So my first card right here is the American Express um, Gold Card, which I have the limited edition Rolls Gold Card version. This one right here, the reason why I carry it is because it has four times points on dining and U.S. supermarkets. So for this one, I do... Um, I don't really do a lot of grocery shopping that much, but I do eat out quite a bit, and I know that sounds really bad, but I like to be 100% transparent on this channel. I do eat out quite a bit, so this one comes super, super handy, and anytime I have a purchase that I'm making that is a high dollar amount, um, American Express really stands by you as a customer, and they respect you as a customer, and I've always had a great customer service with them. ID card, <laughs> this is like a little picture of me. I don't want to show my information. You always have to have it with you at all times. So that's what's in the first flap on it. We're just going to pull out <laughs> three Chase cards. So the, earlier this week, I finally got the Chase Freedom Unlimited. Finally got completed, and I'm so freaking excited. I know they say that there's like a 524 rule on Chase. You get five cards, and anything that's uh, over five cards, um, Chase will not approve you for. But that's not the case for me because I already had like eight, eight credit cards within the last two years. Um, I've already had, I already applied for like multiple credit cards throughout the last, you know, two years. And I got an offer when I logged into my bank account saying that I, um, that I pre-qualified that I will get this card if I want to get it. So I decided why not. Um, it has an APR for the first 24 months, I believe, or the first 12 billing cycles. Um, I'm all about um, paying your balances off at the end of the month. I'm not the type of person that believes in carrying a balance. Regardless if it's zero APR or if they, you get charged interest, I feel like um, just to be more financially stable, I like to just pay it off at the end of the month. Now, if you do carry a balance, something that has zero APR, it does help quite a bit because you're not getting charged interest, but that's not the reason why I got it. There is a sign-up bonus if I spend $500 within the first three months, which I did that yesterday for um, for an upcoming video. Um, I'll get back $200 in um, reward points and when I redeem it for travel through the Chase Sapphire portal, um, it's 25% more. And then on this one, you get 1.5% cash back on anything. That's I have the Chase Unlim Freedom Unlimited. Now, my favorite card in my wallet, to be honest, is not my Amex. It's not my staff. Um, just my, it's my Chase Regular Freedom. This one has rotating categories of 5% cash back. Right now, it is gas. Um, I'm somebody that uh, drives a lot for the YouTube channel, for work, um, just out and about. I do drive quite a bit, and I do have to pump my gas every four to five days. I know it sounds really bad, but I have to put my gas very very consistently and within the last three months all of my transactions with gas stations have been through my chase freedom card because i do i do get that five percent cash back and like i said i never redeem my i never redeem cash back to be honest on my chase cards i just redeem it for travel so if you ever see me doing travel it's usually i paid nothing or i got it very very cheap. five percent cash back on gas next month october november december is five percent cash back in department stores i am somebody that loves shopping Shopping in department stores, regardless if it's online or in store. I think those have 5% cash back on Apple Pay and PayPal purchases. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll insert a picture right here if you're interested. Department stores is something that I always shop in. I'm in a department store like almost every day, not every day, but uh, multiple times a week. So that 5% cash back really, really comes in handy, especially 
now that we're getting towards the holiday season, I tend to make all my purchases for friends and family through department stores. So um, that's really awesome. The last card is my Chase Sapphire Preferred. This is like an OG. I'm about to have a one year anniversary with this card. So now I'm going to get paid a $95 fee for this card because the first year is waived for free. The Freedom Unlimited and the Freedom are just uh, zero, like, zero annual fee cards, but this one is $95. Um, this one, I just, it, I just like this card. Um, I like that I can get, one, I like that you can get into the Chase Travel Portal um, at the end of the billing cycles and for the for going forward to the Freedom Unlimited. They're all, all those points are going to be transferred into this account so I can use my Travel Portal and I get 25% more when I'm redeeming them through the Chase Portal. Um, I know certain uh, accounts have like, they raise the prizes for like plane tickets and hotels and stuff when you try to redeem it through them. I don't really find that with Chase. I think Chase's prices are really, really competitive. Um, the Chase Sapphire, like I said, it's an OG. I love this card. Um, this is like my first kind of like step up card and I just love and appreciate it. These three points, with all these three cards combined, it's the Chase Trifecta. So um, usually nine times out of ten, I pay with Chase cards most of the time just because I mean I get the most bang for my buck through Chase and for me for me to pay a hundred dollars for these three cards well just check technically just the sapphire for me it's 100% worth it because the type of spending and where I do my spending at um, does you know add up and I do get a lot of value for the money that I'm spending so I have those three Chase cards two more cards in my um, card case I have my debit card um, to be honest, I don't remember the last time I used this to go a transaction through with my Chase debit card. The only reason why I have it is that I have to deposit cash or if I have to deposit my debit card just to have it. But to be honest, I never use it. If you're something that's my age or just any age in general, I feel like you should be using a credit card for every situation because I feel like protect you a little bit more um, because at the end of the day, it's the bank's money, not your money. I take a little step back for the Chase cards in general. I've had to do two chargebacks within the last year. One at a merchant in store and one in a merchant online card one was with the credit card the one with the credit card was a lot more easier than the one with the debit card at the end of the day I did I did get those situations resolved but it is more easier to do a, a chargeback or if you have any issues with a credit card just because they, it's the bank's money and not yours money so they'll fight a little bit harder I know it sounds really bad to say but it, I, in my opinion I think it's a little bit true and then the last card that I carry is my Victoria's Secret Angel Forever card. Um, I just have this card because I do do quite a bit of shopping at Bath & Body Works and at Victoria's Secret. I get a lot of perks. Um, if you go on my channel, you'll see how like I get like three or four hundred dollars worth of Victoria's Secret stuff for free. I'll link that down below actually if you want to check that out. These are all the cards that I carry in my day-to-day -day basis. I really recommend all the cards that I have here. If you're interested in applying with any of these cards, I will leave them down below. Um, like on my full-size wallet, um, I do tend to carry all my other my other cards. Um, like I said, I have 10 credit cards and I'm 19. Oh my god, that's crazy. I, said I pay all my cards off at the end of the month and I have zero debt. So that is completely awesome because I'm very responsible when it comes to my finances. But here's all the other cards that I don't carry in my wallet. Um, just because I feel like I get more value for the ones that I have here. Like, let's say for example, the Apple card. Yes, it's nice to have. But to be honest, I don't really use it and I don't plan to use it. I definitely recommend any of the cards that I have in my uh, card holder just because I feel like I get, I personally get the most bang for your buck and I feel like um, I think you as a consumer will also get the most bang for your buck. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching What's In My Wallet video and I'll see you back here on my channel pretty soon. Thank you so much and like I said, everything will be linked down below and hit the subscribe button because I really, really appreciate it and let me know if you want to see more financial content on my channel. Bye guys!